Hi guys, it's Julia from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a Goodwill Bins haul, uh, also known as the Goodwill Outlet. Um, it was another pretty slim week for me this week. I'm still working through this backlog of things that I need to photograph. I've been kind of rearranging my office here, so that's taking up a lot of kind of time and energy that I would otherwise usually be using to photograph and list. But this is critical stuff and it's gonna help me kind of grow, so it's gotta be done. Um, but before we get started today, if you like living for a profit, if you like thrifting, if you like the Goodwill bins, uh, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. Uh, we have a ton of fun, we help each other out, we celebrate each other's wins. Uh, that's what it's really all about in this world. So I've got about 30, I think 33 pieces this week. Um, you know, still a pretty big haul by, by, all, by all standards, but some really great pieces. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Let's check out the goods. So let's start this off with a bang with one of my very favorite brands to find in the bins, and that is Frame. Uh, Frame is a super high-end brand. You'll find them at Nordstrom. You'll find them. They're most famous for their jeans, uh, but all of the stuff that they make is super high quality. They have beautiful textiles. Um, you know, I've picked, I've, I've found a couple pieces in the bins, which just blows my mind that they land in the bins. But this is a wool and silk waffle knit sweater. It's a size small, which, you know, I always prefer to find bigger sizes. Um, but it's just like the textile is so beautiful. Like, I, I to be totally honest, I mean, it's it's interesting. Like, it feels almost like it would be nylon. But then when you kind of feel the underside, it feel you can feel like the quality in the textile. Um, but I grabbed this because I saw the tag sticking out from the pile. I probably would have skipped right past this. So it just goes to show, guys check every single piece. If you've got the time and you've got the wherewithal, like look at the tag on every single piece in the bins. You just never know what's gonna be there. Um, this was probably a $300 sweater. Their sweaters, um, you know, I'll maybe fetch 30 or $40 on this and it should go pretty quickly. Most of the things that I have from frame that are like more substantial, like a sweater, go pretty quick. So great way to start. Next up, we've got this gorgeous cashmere open front sweater from Philosophy by Dane Lewis. I never heard of this brand before. I've seen Philosophy before, so I don't know if it's the same company, but it's a size large. It's 100% cashmere. It's a beautiful, like real classic kind of open front with like the drop pieces in the front, little bell sleeves. You know, maybe 30 or 40 bucks for this. You know, again, I will I will buy cashmere. It doesn't really matter who makes it. I will buy it if it's in great shape. So um, great find. Oh, this was kind of a cool find. I picked this up because I loved the feeling of the fabric. Um, and I love the color of it. This, you know, the kind of browns, the neutrals, and we can thank Kim Kardashian for this with skims uh, are very hot right now. But I pulled this and it's a bodysuit. It's a little thong bodysuit. And it's from Classy Network. Now, if you, if you like me, are on Instagram and have been bombarded by ads with this company, um, I always kind of thought it was a scam. <laughs> like they're, they're famous for their brommies, which are like camis with built-in bras. And I, you know, they always just kind of like whiffed of, this is like a, you know, dropship company. But man, the quality on this is absolutely beautiful. This is a size large. And it's like fully lined on the inside with the spandex. So I don't know. I I might even try this on to just see how it fits, but it feels like it would snatch you in all the right places. Just one of those super flattering, beautiful, like basic closet staples. Um, I, they seem to go on the resale market for like 30 bucks plus. So um, I'm interested to see how it does. Again, I, I grabbed it thinking that they were a sham. So I'm very impressed. I might even try ordering something from them uh, just to see if the quality matches. Oh, I should also mention that the vintage gods were serving this week. Like the amount of cool vintage pieces I got in this haul are so incredible. I, I, I just, just wait and see. Um, but the first one I got was I couldn't, I couldn't not take it. It's this incredible, this is a hundred percent silk 
it's a it's like a silk t-shirt from Carol Little Sport. Now I've seen Carol Little stuff, you know, and they were very much like working mom, <laughs> working mom in the 80s kind of fashions. But I mean, it's like, it's a bright blue with a purple pocket. The back is purple. It's this awesome color block. This feels like very right now. I don't think this will last. I might get 30 bucks for it, but how cool is that? I mean, I just know that there's somebody with a really interesting like fashion sense who will just die to get their hands on that. And it's in fantastic condition. No rips, holes, snags, um, picks, anything. Super excited about that. Next up here, this was another one that I grabbed because of the fabric. And it's this beautiful like silk blouse in this kind of neon coral. But the back has this like faux wrap situation. Can you see that? Just how that drapes so beautifully. It's by a designer or a company called ALC. And I initially was like, oh, is that like a knockoff or a play on APC? Uh, it turns out totally separate totally separate piece. This is from 2012. So we're almost in like the early 2000s here. But the construction and the materials on this is so beautiful. It's a size. Um, it's a size medium, in perfect condition, no rips, tears, snags, again, 100% silk. Uh, it's definitely a statement piece, but I think that'll sell pretty quickly. Cops I was seeing on other like silk tops from ALC were in the $70 range. Um, this is a little bit more of like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like divisive colors. So we'll see, you know, maybe 30 or $40 on this, but I think it's just beautiful and I couldn't leave it behind. This deserves to be back in somebody's closet. Again, perfect condition. Okay, so we've got another vintage piece here. And this was the last thing I grabbed as I was leaving. I have this way of like on my way out the door with a vintage piece kind of poking out the top and I just grab it. This is like the fourth or fifth time this has happened in the last two months. But look at this absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a nightgown. Um, it's from the 50s. It's, you know, it's two layers of chiffon. So I don't know if this is made to be like, worn with a slip and worn out, or if it's made to be worn to bed. It's made by Carter's. Let me see if I can get the tag. I This tag is pretty tiny. Can you see that? I don't know if that's really showing up, but it's the size is 15 junior figure, 36 bus. So it's a pretty big size. Um, you know, it's so rare to find true vintage pieces that are like not a size two. So that always makes me very excited. I want to say that this will probably fit a, a size 10. To, yeah, probably a size 10 today. Um, but it's got these cute little tie straps that I believe are just decorative. Like it's, uh, it's a full strap with a tie around it. But it's got all this beautiful little beading in the front. Isn't this darling? It's T length. I just, what a great find. I think, I mean, I see comps similar to this. There's a couple like little condition issues, a couple tiny little like holes like that throughout. But I mean, you really can't see them. Um, you know, maybe 60 or $70 on that just because of the styling. Like it is, it is just a beautiful, flattering style in great shape. And I mean, all the years of doing vintage, like I've never run across something else like this, especially not in this size. So awesome find. And keeping with the vintage gods, guys, if you are a 90s baby, this this logo is going to bring you right back. I, I'm like not even going to show you the jeans, but hello. Do we remember Dollhouse? And these are, are you kidding me? Brand new with tags. Look at these incredible bell bottoms. They've got this incredible like embroidery at the hip. And are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this crochet detail down at the bell bottom and all the way along the bottom of the jeans? Again, brand new with tags condition, size three, four. Um, like I would have killed for these. <laughs> I would have killed for these in high school. Look at the, look at the booty pockets. So cute. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll get for these. I mean, they are like basically dead stock. They're in perfect condition. They are just, I mean, I can't. I can't with this bell bottom. I, I think these might fetch like 60 or 70 bucks because they are just so cool. They might be limited by their size. You know, a three, four is like a junior's women's 
hybrid and it's definitely low rise. It's not something that like everybody can pull off, but I just think that these are such a cool find. I was so, I was so excited to find these in the bins and really like the memories that that unlocked that tag, that dollhouse tag. I mean, it, you might as well have made that Delia's. I, I love Next up here, we've got this great little pair, and I believe these are also new with tags. This is a size two, so a 2X Torrid. Um, cute little embroidered, like mesh short. Are these not the cutest little shorts you've ever seen? Look at the back. I mean, so flattering, so like dainty and delicate. I know it's like end of summer, but again, you know, people take vacations all year and they're toured and they're, you know, again, they're brand new condition. You know, maybe $20, $25 on these. I just thought they were so cute. Look at this embroidery. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. What a great find. Next up, guys, another vintage piece. Like, dying, dying at the amount of vintage is this vintage BB wool skirt and it needs to be steamed. <laughs> so sorry about that. This is a size 10. It's like mint green. I don't know if the color is reading true on screen here, but it's mint green size 10. Look at the tag. How do you know it's vintage? Like I remember those tags from the early 2000s, late 90s. This is a cute little like skater skirt, like a little A-line mini skirt, zip closure in back. And it's in great shape. I think there's one tiny little pinprick of a hole that I found the other day while I was checking it but it is like so small there it is just a teensiest little hole right here but this will be stored in the cedar closet to prevent any further damage but again I don't think this is gonna last very long like I I can just see the I can just see little Gen Z girls today like grabbing that you know maybe 30 bucks on that it was, that was a cool find that was a very cool find because I know like BB was expensive back in the day oh and that is fully lined just FYI BB was a super expensive store and like I could never afford to shop there so it's, it's always great to find these on the back end next up this one is I you know I don't know I still think that this is something that will sell well on like Depop um, it's this like Eddie Bauer cargo skirt and it's brand new with tags, like tags still attached. Um, you know, it's this kind of like olive drab brown zip button closure. It's got a little cargo pocket right here. I mean, it's so it's like the little, the little slit isn't even popped open. So this is, I, you know, Maybe $20, $25 on this. It is Eddie Bauer, but I just, I think that there are some girlies out there for whom this will like, you know, like those long denim skirts are back in. I can see this fitting in with that whole theme. Next up, we've got another Torrid piece. This is another size two Torrid and it's these cute, like relaxed jogger, like cargo joggers. And these are not denim. They're not chambray. They're kind of like Lyocell, but they have this like, acid wash to them that like can you see that that's printed that's not wrinkle on the fabric like that is actually printed um these feel brand new these do not appear to have been worn i mean if you look at the tag you know you can sometimes tell with the tag like if it has been through the wash or not i can almost guarantee this has never been through the wash but a little drawstring elasticated waist you know jogger legs super cute just like a great relaxed basic for you know for the rest of the season Next up here, I've got another vintage piece. And I like, I've been thrifting my whole life. And you know, when I used to go looking for vintage clothes, it was a different beast. But like today where, where I'm going and I'm shopping for myself and I'm shopping to like resell, it's rare that I walk out with more than one, maybe two pieces. Like, so today was crazy. I mean, today, this week's trip to the bins was absolutely insane. But look at this. This is, I believe, early nineties Banana Republic. Um, size 12, so it's a great size, in this kind of cool navy blue print. It's like a little bit of a skater dress with cute little like short sleeves. This isn't quite when Banana, when Banana Republic was like an outfitter. You know, like, fun fact, Abercrombie and Fitch used to be an outfitter. I believe Banana Republic used to also be an outfitter. And by outfitter, I mean a company that like whose primary focus was outfitting people for like safari. So you would go there to get like your safari vest and your trekking pants. Um, this isn't quite then, this is early nineties. I think this was really when like 
Gap and Banana were starting to take off. But the funny thing is, and I mean, any Vera Bradley people out there, please confirm this. I had a couple Vera Bradley pieces that I swear to God had this print from like, you know, maybe 10 years ago. I'm going to have to look like, I know I still have some pieces that I use like every time I travel and I'm going to have to compare it, but I'm almost positive that this is the same pattern. I feel like I'm uncovering conspiracy here. Uh, no clue what I'll get for this, maybe 20 bucks, but how cool is that? And again, I love finding vintage pieces in a size over 10, in a size over like six. Next up, um, I have a piece from Scotch and Soda. And, you know, I don't know much about this brand. I really only became familiar. Can you see that tag? There you go. I really became familiar with this brand when I moved out here because they have brick and mortar stores. And I guess I hadn't been to a mall in a long time before I moved out here. Um, and it's like great quality stuff, but it is super expensive. So I grabbed this. It's Scotch and Soda Maison Scotch. So it's this beautiful little wrap top. So it's black ribbed material. And again, like the quality on this is top notch. Like this fabric is beautiful with this brown piping and it's faux wrap. So it doesn't, you know, you don't have to worry about yourself popping out. I think it's a size small. Yeah, it's a size small. So I'm not quite sure what I'll get for that. I've never sold scotch and soda before. Um, it was probably a hundred dollars shirt back in the day. So um, TBD. Um, I'm interested to see how that does. And if so, you know, if it does well, it's something I'll for sure be keeping an eye out for, but definitely a Bolo brand for you. If you're out and about in your stores, uh, definitely something to keep your eyes out for if you've never heard of it, because it's, it's, it's a spendy, it's a spendy brand. Next up, we've got this really pretty piece again, so wrinkled from Mark, New York, not typically a brand I pick up, uh, but I just thought that this shirt was so pretty. It's this kind of corally, like a dark coral, like boho peasant top. I love the sleeves are nice and blousey. The fabric is super breezy and silky. It's got a little tie top. It's a size extra small. Sorry, I'm showing it to you backwards. This is the front. Um, you know, maybe 20 bucks on this, but I just thought it was so pretty. You know, definitely something I picked up for the style, not necessarily the brand. Um, and it is really nicely made. Next up here, I've got this uh, very cool, I mean, talk about the right time for it, super fuzzy sweater, sweatshirt, sweater from Splendid with these cute, like multicolored pink hearts. This is a size extra large, so it's a great size. You know, it's funny, like I, I see a lot of Splendid t-shirts, which I don't really ever pick up, but there was a bunch of like more significant pieces uh, this week. And this was one of them. So I grabbed it. I think this might've been part of a set at one point, you know, maybe 30 bucks on this. Like it, it, it's still warm here in Southern California and like just holding this, I'm feeling warm. So um, this was a pretty great pickup. Very cool. Next up here, we've got a cool little free people piece. This is a size extra small, but you know, true to free people, this could easily fit like a medium. Um, this is cute little like cropped t-shirt. Can you see this? Look at the detail on this. Let's see if I can get you up close. So it's got this like lace trim around the neckline. And it's a little bit of a cropped length and a little bit of a kind of curved hem. But look at these sleeves. I love these sleeves. So they're kind of like a crossover ruffle, but the crossover happens at the top of your arm. Oh, is that so cute? I love this. You know, probably 25, 30 bucks on this. Um, I've never seen this before, so I'll see if I can find like the, the item number. 100% um, cotton. I think this might even be like linen cotton. Really cute little piece though. Absolutely love that. Next up here, I've got this very cool um, sweater piece from Alice and Olivia which is a brand I absolutely love to find in the thrift, in the bins, wherever. This is a very expensive brand. Um, but it's this kind of like, I don't want to call this space dye. Can you see that pattern? I guess it is kind of a space dye. But it's like thin, and it's this long, like, open front sweater with a shawl collar. This is very hard to show on film. It's got a shawl collar, and the front of the collar goes all the way down and ends with buttons. So you can wear this open and hung down like a shawl collar, or you can button the bottom and wrap it around your neck. Um, 
this I will try to get this up in the store before this video is is live. So I will link this particular article so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but it's a size medium and it's an incredible condition. This, you know, I have to do a little bit more comping on this specific sweater, but you know, I've sold Alice and Olivia stuff that is 15 years old and well worn for like 60 bucks. So maybe 60 or $70 on this, potentially up to a hundred. This was probably a four or $500 sweater. Like they're that level of expensive. Next up, I've got another little piece from Free People. It's a size medium and it's got, it's a cute, just like little trapeze dress. Uh, kind of like mid mid thigh to like knee length. It's got a little bit more length on the sides. It's got this cute little button detail at the neck. Fantastic condition. It's like a gauze with a little floral print. It's a great little piece. Yeah, you know, maybe twenty five bucks on this. Um, again, it's not you know it's not the most bells and whistles free people piece, which you really want to aim for, because free people can be a little bit saturated today in resale. Um, but it still sells. No matter what it is, it still sells. It's just whether or not you're going to get like free people prices like we used to get, or if you're going to get like a more reduced price, like $20. So either way, um, I got this at the bin. So even a $20 sale is good enough profit for me. So next up, I absolutely love this piece. It's this beautiful blazer from Madewell. Get this collar laying right. They call this the diamond jacquard blazer. And it's in this beautiful, like, burnt orange pumpkin color. Isn't that cute? It's a size large. And this is the fabric. Do you see that kind of, It's it looks quilted. I don't know if that's coming up clear there, but it's so dang cute. And I don't know if this has never been worn, but the bag vent is still tacked. Um, you know, I think this went for like $120 or $130. It was, this was not a cheap piece. So maybe $40 or $50 on this. And I don't think that this will last very long. This feels very right now. So I'm going to prioritize getting this up uh, on, on the, in my closet. So isn't that cool? Next up, I've got this beautiful piece. This was definitely something that I grabbed because of the textile. Um, the fabric, the cotton just felt really high quality. This is from a brand called All Saints. I'll show you the tag. They actually don't have an interior tag. It's just on the back there. Um, and All Saints is most famous. You probably, if you know of All Saints, you know about them because of their leather jackets. Like they're known for making the best leather moto jackets on the market today. Um, but this I just thought was so pretty. It's like a little trapeze top. It's sleeveless. It's got kind of a higher neck, a graphic black and white print. Super cute. And it's in fantastic condition. Like if this was worn, um, I don't think it was worn much. Very cute. Maybe 20 to 25 on that. And I don't think it'll last, you know, people who love All Saints, like love All Saints. Next up, I've got another substantial piece from Splendid. Check out this beautiful navy maxi dress. Isn't this so cute? It goes all the way down. It's tiered, three tiers. It's a linen blend. It's in fabulous condition. It's got a little string tie around the middle. That, that It actually has the string tie with it, which is so rare to find in the bins. It's a size medium. It's a great size. I, you know, maybe 40 bucks on this because it is, I mean, it's a heavy piece. It's like a linen viscose blend. So it's got a beautiful drape to it. Um, yeah, I think, the, I think like 40, 45 bucks on that because it is more substantial. It's very cool. That, that, that was a great find. Next up, oh, I, oh, I, I felt this and I'm like, I know exactly what that wool is. Look at this gorgeous alpaca blend sweater. It's another vintage uh, Banana Republic. I checked the style tag on this and it's from Holiday 06. So this is vintage Y2K in this beautiful brown. It's like a, it's such a soft brown. This is like a more like a dark mushroom versus like a warm brown. Um, but it's this little cocoon shape with these chunky little buttons. And when I say that this is in absolutely perfect condition, I mean that this feels like I just took it off of the rack. Like it is in such good shape. I would, I would be very surprised to learn that this was ever worn. I don't think that this was ever worn. No moth holes, no damage, like no pillage, no nothing. So I don't think that this will last long at all. It's very unusual. It's a beautiful textile. Maybe 40, 
maybe 50 bucks on this. You just don't see alpaca all that much. You know, everybody knows about cashmere. It's the luxe, you know, knit of choice. And like, don't get me wrong. I love cashmere. I live in cashmere in the winter, but alpaca, you just don't see it that often. And you certainly don't see it in the thrift store all that often. So nice. Next up, guys, another vintage piece. I cannot even get over this. This is from a brand called Votranob. And like, I remember hearing that name or reading that name in like fashion magazines back in the 90s and early 2000s. I think this is from the 90s. And it's this beautiful, my God, this needs to be steamed. But it's this beautiful, like navy blue polka dot T-length dress with this beautiful little detail at the bottom, 100% silk. And I mean, this feels like the nicest silk. Um, it's a size 2T, so it's kind of an unusual size, but there are, you know, people out there that will look absolutely magnificent in this. And I could not leave this behind. I mean, you don't find a vintage, perfect condition, Votronom silk dress and leave it in the bins. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't think this will probably hang around a little bit until the right person with the right build can, can you know, stumbles upon it. But you size two tea gals, uh, let's pick this one up because this deserves a new life. I, you know, I'm not quite sure on this. Maybe, maybe 40 bucks. I have no clue. This is kind of an unprecedented thing for me, but I just, oh, it's so pretty. Next up, we've got this beautiful, I mean, this is a, an incredible basic. I saw the tag and Notori is like a high-end Intimates brand. And it's this beautiful, like modal jersey, black robe with the tie in perfect condition. Doesn't look like it's been worn ever. Like there's no pilling on it whatsoever. You know, this was probably $150, $160 robe. Um, it's size extra small, but you know, like many robes, it's got a little extra a little extra room in it. <clears throat> it's got three quarter sleeves that are nice and kind of wide, you know, maybe 30, 40 bucks on this, but I couldn't leave this behind. I am um, a little bit about me. I'm a robe girly. Like I am somebody who is in my robe. You know, some people like have robes and they don't ever wear them. I am in my robe every single day. I was raised that way. My mom's the same way. We are absolute fanatics about robes. I have two or three like kinds of robes that I, I, and I literally wear them until they fall apart and then I get a new one and I don't care what they cost. I'm a robe girly. Next up, I've got this cute little sleeveless top from Rag and Bone, which is a brand I don't often see much in the bins. I think this is a few years old. This is the tag if you're looking for it. They're mostly known for their jeans. So like if you find men's jeans from Rag and Bone, just grab them. Like they have a fanatical following and they're very expensive, 250, maybe a little bit more. Um, it's just a cute little, like a little tank top with a split back. So it's got that little, let's see if I can show you this, little flyaway piece like this. So give you a little breeze in the back. Uh, super cute and great condition. It's a size, I think it's a size small. Size small, maybe 20 bucks on this. And I don't think it'll sit around too long. Very cute. We're almost there, guys. Next up, I've got this cute little Lucky Brand kimono. I love kimonos. They're just something, you know, they don't ever fetch a ton of money, but it's something that people, you know, I have a I have a 15% discount if you have a bundle. So people will throw this in there to get the 15% bundle, um, get the 15% off. And this cute little like super gauzy, lightweight, it's kind of a shorter length kimono from Lucky Brand. It's in great condition. Um, doesn't look like it's ever been worn. This can easily be a swim cover up. Yeah, maybe $15 on this. I do love kimonos and they weigh nothing. Next up, I've got another cut loose top. This is a linen cotton. Um, I found a brand new one of these last week. I had never heard of the brand before. This is the tag. And I'll, I'll tag that. I'll, I'll link that video down below. But you know, the quality on these is really nice. I think that they're all American made. They're from San Francisco. And this is a cute little like brown, um, three quarters sleep. I like this little detail at the bust. Isn't that cool? I've never seen that before. But it's a size medium, you know, maybe $20, $25 on this. The comps on the other one, which I just, I think it just listed last night, which would be like last week for y'all. Um, 
I, the comps were somewhere in like $30, $40 for some of their pieces. Obviously, the, the linen like t-shirts are a little bit less expensive than their 100% linen pieces, but definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. This is the second one I found in a couple of weeks. So uh, at least California folks, keep your eyes out. Next up, and we've got two more after this, I've got this super cute Torrid top. It's again, it's a size two, three size two Torrid pieces in this trip. This cute little baby doll peplum top with this kind of rock and roll, like faux Peter Pan collar. Isn't that cute? Again, feels like this is pretty much unworn. Um, you know, maybe $20, $25 on this. I think it's so cute. And again, great condition. Torrid pieces usually move pretty quickly, but they move quick, more quick for me when I've got like multiple pieces in the same size because people like to bundle them. But, you know, very, very cute. Next up, I've got this adorable little mustard yellow sweater from Anthropology. It's got this beautiful like knit detail around the neck. Can you see that? Yeah, beautiful. And then it's it's actually by Anthropology. This is like the second time in two weeks that I've found pieces that are by Anthropology, which I believe is a newer thing that they do. This is an extra small, so it's pretty tiny, um, but it is in fantastic condition. It's a perfect fall color. I love sw short sleeve sweaters because they're such a transitional piece. Maybe $20 on this, but I could put that behind. I lied. We've got two more pieces. <laughs> Uh, up here, we've got this uh, this cute little camisole from a brand called Long, Tell, Long Tall Sally. And I believe that they're a plus size um, clothing manufacturer out of the UK. Um, but they seem to have a pretty high resale value. I think that their pieces tend to be pretty sought after. But it's this cute little camisole. Look at the details on that. Nice little eyelash lace up along the, the, the bust. Um, you know, and it's like little details, like you see how the lace comes around the back. It doesn't stop at the side seam. That's really how you know you're dealing with like a more quality piece. But this is a size uh, UK 16, so US 12. It actually looks a little big for a US 12. Um, but it's a great little piece. You know, maybe 20 bucks on this, but definitely a brand. Just the tag, if you didn't catch that. Uh, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for because it does seem to have some real devotees that are that seek out this brand. And finally, guys, I've got this great pair of pants from Cool. Uh, cool, if you are unfamiliar, this is the inside tag. I'll show you the tag to be on the lookout for. This is the tag you'll see on the outside. And they just have, first of all, their stuff is really well made and they have devotees. Like they... Their style is very rugged. It's very, um, you know, very outdoorsy. And it doesn't really change, right? Like this exists outside of trends. So it doesn't necessarily matter if these were built last year or if these were built 15 years ago. People will still buy them because they still like make clothes that look the same. Um, but they're a size 34, 32, which is a great size. They're super lightweight cotton. So a good summer pant, um, little, little embroidery there on the rear pocket. You know, depending, I, I want to do a really good condition check on these because people tend to wear cool pieces until they literally fall apart and then they buy the same model. Like that's kind of how cool exists. Like they just, they have that level of devotee. So I'll do a really good condition check on these um, before listing. But if they're in great condition, as a great condition as just a quick glance over would be, you know, these could easily fetch, you know, 50, 60 bucks. They, they retail for like 110 and people just love them. And for good purpose, They're, they make great stuff. But that is the haul for today, guys. I really appreciate you hanging with me. Um, I had a ton of fun. I hope you had a ton of fun. I hope you learned something. I'm constantly learning from you. It's amazing. Um, I can't believe all these vintage pieces. What is your favorite vintage piece that you've ever found in the bins or in the thrift? Comment it down below how, what it was, where you found it, how much you sold it for. I love hearing this kind of anecdotal stuff. It just fuels my fire to go back the next time. But um, for the numbers nerds, I've got about $3,700 on the MSRP for all of this stuff, which is like, again, just insane. Obviously not what I'm going to get for it on the resale market, but I have, I'm anticipating between seven and $900 in sales on all these items, which would leave me with a profit of somewhere between 550 and 700. So considering the fact that I spent $34, it is not too shabby. I will take that all day, any 
day, especially on a lighter week. But guys, if you enjoyed yourself here, please consider leaving a like on this video. It really helps me with YouTube. And of course, if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. You'll get notified anytime I have a new video up. I would really love to have you along on this, on this journey. But without further ado, guys, have a great week. Happy hunting. Sending all of the good vintage like vibes to you. Um, but I'll see you in the next one.